Democrat Andrew Yang is calling out recent media coverage of his presidential campaign after CNN aired a graphic that neglected to list Yang when discussing primary candidates standing in a recent poll. I'll admit I've never been a politician before, but the treatment of our rising national poll results has been odd and confusing, Yang said in the Thursday campaign email to supporters. CNN included in its graphic the top five candidates in the Quinnipiac University poll released last week, as well as former Texas Representative Beto O'Rourke, who polled at 1%, compared with Yang's 3%. The CNN graphic did not claim that the six candidates on the screen were the top six in the poll. A CNN spokesman did not immediately return a request for comment. So this is the story we did yesterday, but this is Yang's response to it. Yang fundraised off his complaint over media coverage, asking supporters to donate to force the networks and everyone in the media to pay attention to increase coverage of our campaign. The trend of this campaign is already very positive. Think where we could be if we received the same level of coverage as folks like Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and Joe Biden, Yang said. Former Vice President Joe Biden, Senator Elizabeth Warren, and Bernie Sanders led the race in the Quinnipiac poll. They have fairly consistently made up the top three in the majority of national polls. Yang is one of t 10 candidates to make the stage in next month's Democratic primary debates, having reached, so whatever. Point is, Yang is expressing a, a distaste with the media's coverage of him, which is crappy. Um, and we've already been over the reason for that. They, they are purposely trying to flush him out. Um, and I, the only thing that can really can be done here is for his supporters to just keep spreading the word uh, in a grassroots way. This is actually something that Sanders' uh, group of people did the, um, in the previous election cycle, where he was getting very little coverage as compared to both Clinton and Trump. And they went out and told more and more people about him. And you see how it uh, it helped him get, get into a very consistent second place in that prime well we're, we're not even going to go into the dnc's screwing around because that, that's we're, we'll get into that with, with the other up with that for today but the point is that the media is not going to bend to yang's will unfortunately it's not going to bend to the will of the people when they have these primaries they go for the ratings you know when sanders is on tv people tune in to know who he is high name recognition same thing with warren same thing with biden Yang is still a relatively recent person for national discourse, and they're not going to experiment with giving him more coverage unless they think there's something in it for them, you know, ratings. Now, obviously, his supporters and others like myself will tune in, but the point is, these people are not... It, it's both the malicious intent of keeping the freedom dividend barely known and also trying to make sure they get as much ratings for the people that they do cover. That's why they would rather co they they would rather cover Trump's empty podium than a lot of the candidates the uh, in the previous election cycle. It's all just a continuation of the same nonsense from a few years ago.